Aotearoa can be a place that is free from all forms of violence. We know this. And now that I'm up here and I can see you all, I know even more so, you are part of the solution. You are where it starts, coming together collectively to send a loud, clear message that all of our communities, all of our streets, all of our homes can be places that are safe. We know we can be a city where no matter what state or how much alcohol we have or haven't had or what we might be wearing or not, no matter how much dancing we do or don't do in Wellington City, on this very street, no matter how many friends we've got around us to keep us safe or not, we know that we can enjoy ourselves in whatever way that might look like and that no one is entitled to sexually or violently abuse anybody. That is the vision that we have. I want that world for myself. I want that world for all of you, all genders, every gender. I want that world for my daughters and my sons. I want that world for my baby, beautiful little granddaughter. And for far too long, we have unfortunately accepted, we have felt that some people have felt that they are entitled to women's bodies to do with what they please. We have unfortunately had a society that upholds the patriarchy of men having power over women. That is the gendered nature of sexual violence in this country and all around the world. That is what you have all come out to acknowledge tonight. Men, women, all genders, and I am so grateful to you all. Minister, the first ever minister that this country has ever had for the prevention of family violence Woo! and the prevention yeah! Yeah. of sexual violence. I stand here in full support of the demands and the asks that you have put up. I am sorry that you have to even ask for a city to have a plan to be safe. I am sorry that you have to even ask that we to decide together that no one has any entitlement or right to violate anyone else's person. I am sorry that you have these us, but I support them because we don't want to be an ambulance at the bottom of the cliff. We want our young people and our children, as soon as they are born, to realise we do not tolerate any forms of violence. We do not tolerate any forms of sexism. We want a country that teaches its children immediately when they come into this world that the language we use every day has power, that the actions and the catcalls and the sexist language that we use every day has power. We want that cultural and system change among our communities in our homes, in our schools, in our places of power, who at this moment are full of abuse. We know this. So that culture change, that attitude change has to happen everywhere. And as a minister, I want to support and will do everything in my power to start to move our country towards that beautiful vision, towards a vision that holds sacred the safety of every single person, the safety of every single woman, the safety of every disabled woman, the safety of every Māori woman, the safety of every Pacifica woman, the safety of every trans woman. Yeah! We can only do this together. We can only do this together. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you to the 
Wellington Alliance Against Sexual Violence for pulling us together to do this work. Nō reira, kia ora tātou katoa.